dear guys, this is Natalie and I'm having a visitor here, a great wonderful guy from the United States, Rush. Thank you very much for coming. So, and I would like to question this wonderful man. <laughs> Why it took you so long to get to here? Rush, oh. tell me the truth. Four years. <laughs> Four years. Well, it is true that I've been communicating with Natalie, my love guru. Uh, for four years and uh, <laughs> and uh, we just uh, you know life got in and a lot of people had a lot of things to say about Kiev, Ukraine, oh my god you're going to a Russia land you know all the negatives and but you know I mustered up my courage and I said this is important so I'm heading out so that's how I ended up here so and it was really really a pleasant surprise what a beautiful city this is I recommend everybody come here. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous place. You know, the, the public transport is absolutely phenomenal. The uh, city is just beautiful, just like any other city in the world. People are going about their life, busy. It's just a vibrant, vibrant city. Highly recommended. You uh, were coming here with certain expectations. What did you expect coming to you? Well, my expectation was to meet a uh, beautiful, Russian or uh, Ukrainian lady, mm -hmm. and you suddenly have uh, materialized it uh, to me. And I met uh, through this my love guru. <laughs> she introduced me some beautiful girls, Ukrainian girls. So yes, I went on a few dates, and it was just uh, phenomenal. People are just the, the girls are just very cultured, highly educated, and of course, without saying, gorgeous. Mm, thank you, mm -hmm. really. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, but. Uh, a certain you were worried to come here. Um, what held you back uh, from from like leaving things behind and, and coming sooner uh, to Ukraine? What were your concerns? What were your fears? Well, you know, my fear was I think I communicated that to you, to you also because there was a, some political upheaval, war, and all those things were going on. So and you know, uh, so that kind of added to the fear. Oh my God what's going to happen in this is a country in the middle of war but mm -hmm. god i mean it was a pleasant surprise i came here there's no sign of war nothing like i said people are just going about their lives just beautiful place though. so uh, so i was absolutely wrong about my mm. fear mm. thank you yeah yeah usually guys are worried about that yeah but in terms of organizing the uh, service process for you we got very certain of this, <laughs> yeah, but uh, how would you say um, like general organization of things that you've experienced with the agency? Well, you know, um, I have to say that uh, absolutely professional. Um, they, they sat down with me, like Natalie sat down with me. Number of uh, you know choices that I that she asked me, who do you like and uh, and I picked up the girls and and, uh, and she commented uh, I have to point out something that there are girls that I picked up and Natalie said no she will not be a good match for you so she advised me who to meet who not to meet based on she already knew my what what I'm looking for so and I I have to say that your recommendations were dead on. Absolutely, the girls I met so far are absolutely, you know, they're, they they fit my profile. So you know, I thank you for introducing these girls, and uh, let's see what happens. The well, future is, uh, you never know, right? Is love possible? Absolutely. Yeah. Is relationship possible? Absolutely. Yeah. Is everything possible? Uh, um, that's what I'm here for. Five. Thank you very much, Rush. And I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> no, I have to say that she did not pay me, so I volunteered it. Thank you very much. I appreciate and I wish you happy 2020. I wish you to develop. No, 2020 is my year. Ah. That's it. I've drawn the line in 2020. No further. No more single life. Cool. Oh, <laughs> it's magic. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. Awesome.